If you look around today in society, you'll notice that most men look quite soft and they lack the dimorphic traits that makes them attractive to women and gets them the respect from their fellow men. You son of a bitch. And I was thinking this, like, why is there so much advice online on how to look max and how to increase your attractiveness, how to increase your bone structure? Yet, when you actually see people, you don't see the results from these videos and all these YouTubers trying to sell them these bullshit products that actually don't work and actually make you look worse because they're fucking up your hormones. And so this video came about because of this. I'm here to show you the path that I took. And I'm so confident in this path that I believe this is the last looks maxing video you will ever have to watch ever again. We're going to get straight into it. But before we do, I want to preface that I am not a medical professional. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? Uh, concur with what, sir? With what Dr. Ashland just said. Do you, do you concur? So the first thing is hormonal maxing and androgen receptor sensitivity. Most of your facial gains, most of the masculine features that you want as a man will be from actually removing things out of your life rather than adding anything in. And so you see most of this video, I'll be speaking predominantly about your hormonal health and the link between your androgen sensitivity and how that is going to affect your bone structure. So just a bit of background on my own journey. I used to be so unbelievably unhealthy and this reflected in my physiognomy where my face was very soft, my physique was very soft. I was a pescatarian for about five years and I wasn't a healthy pescatarian. I was eating farmed salmon, which is loaded with microplastics. I was eating store-bought fish. I was eating like pesticide sprayed supermarket vegetables. I was playing Destiny all day. I was doing all of these things. I was eating takeout pizza. And over time, I noticed that my face atrophied and my, my overall aesthetics, my overall masculine look as a man, I looked like a piece of tofu. I looked like a piece of soy. And so by fixing my diet, and implementing the things that I will teach you in this video, I slowly improved my physiognomy and slowly improved my attractiveness without even you know, using a product. This was the biggest thing that made me more dimorphic. And before I get into exactly what I eat on a day to day and what I eat now in order to maximize my facial aesthetics, what I want to explain is what dimorphism is and what androgens are. So dimorphism is basically the language that nature uses in order to identify the key sexual differences between male and female. So if you look at a male peacock, they're going to be vastly more different than a female peacock. Most of the time in nature, males look extremely aesthetic and females look kind of boring. Most, most female birds are, are gray. Most male birds are colorful and aesthetic. So this is what dimorphism is. So the key dimorphic traits between a male human and a female human are basically males have wider shoulders and smaller hips. Females have smaller shoulders and wider hips. That is a dimorphic difference between the two. And so to become more attractive as men, we need to maximize these dimorphic traits. And the way that we do this is by increasing our androgen receptor sensitivity. And the highest concentration of these androgen receptors within your body are the shoulders, the upper chest, the middle chest, and the neck. So the more that we can focus on our hormones, the more that we can increase our dimorphism, our dimorphic traits, the more attractive and the more masculine our overall face and our overall physique will be. You can actually notice this. If you go and look at any bodybuilder who's blasting gear, you can see that over time, their face gets a lot more ogre-like. They get more masculine in a way, but this is too dimorphic. This is too masculine. They call it, um, they call it like being an ogre where your jaw is so unbelievably wide that it just blends into your neck. This is not what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to achieve a nice balance where you can actually clearly see the disconnect between the jaw and the neck, which leads me on to diet. Now, addressing the internal state of your gut microbiome is going to support your hormone levels, support your testosterone levels, which will ultimately make you more attractive. Notice how I haven't specifically spoken about a product yet. 
because this is the biggest thing that people miss. So remember how I used to eat like store-bought fish and all this like bullshit packaged foods? I now start my mornings with raw milk and I crack four eggs, four raw eggs into that raw milk. I add a bit of honey and a bit of bee pollen. I mix that up and I slonk that down my throat. That is my breakfast. If you told me years ago that this is what my breakfast would be, I'd probably throw up. But other than this, what I am still eating is unpasteurized cheese, Greek yogurt, ground beef, potatoes, and occasionally white rice. I also sometimes add in sauerkraut or any fermented vegetables, which does also help this gut microbiome as well. Now, this is just what works for myself. If you've been eating processed food your entire life, and you switch straight to drinking raw milk with raw eggs and honey, then you're not gonna have a good time. This is probably gonna rip your gut up and your, your body's probably going to reject it. What you need to do is to progressively overload your egg intake, progressively overload your beef intake. Can't go from eating packaged meals and like, you know, there's like frozen pre-packaged meals that you buy in the store for like $5. You can't go from eating that straight to a primal diet like my diet is start slow and progressively overload it now the next point that i want to make is you need to start resistance training you can forget about everything i've said in this video if you're not doing this one thing now to preface you don't need to be killing yourself in the gym two to three times per week of heavy resistance training is all you need in order to see benefits for your growth hormone your testosterone and just your overall attractiveness. I'm not gonna touch on this point too much because I feel like it's very, like this is more of an esoteric guide rather than your typical guide that says, oh, just go lift weights, bro. I do calisthenics two times per week. I use really heavy weights. I use a weight vest and I have some dumbbells there. I pretty much focus on the aesthetic muscle groups, which are the shoulders, the lateral delts, the upper chest and the neck. You pretty much get the point. Focus on this area up here, but specifically training your neck is huge. Start doing neck curls two to three times per week after your workouts. My next point is you need to start doing everything you can to minimize the toxic chemicals and the harmful products in your life. Take a look at these photos from the 1950s. These men are teenagers that are still in high school and they look more masculine and more mature than 99% of grown adults do today, which is so wild. And the reason for this is because their environment isn't trying to subdue them and their environment supports their hormones and doesn't destroy them. Now, I've previously touched on this in a skincare guide and a skincare video, but it is all linked. The more toxic products you have in your environment, the lesser your hormonal health will be. The lesser your hormonal health is, the more soy and the more soft you will look. A quick fire thing to look out for is stop drinking from plastic, Stop wearing plastic. Stop consuming things that have been heated up in plastic, which I'm talking about those frozen meals, which you put in the microwave. Stop consuming these things. Stop touching receipt paper. Whenever someone asks you at a store, would you like your receipt? Say, no, no, thank you. I don't want to destroy my hormonal health and lower my testosterone if you're autistic about it, which I sort of am. So, And also stop staying indoors all day underneath blue light. Get outside, get some sun. So it's as above, so below. The more unhealthy your lifestyle is, the more toxins you're ex exposed to, the softer you will look, the more unattractive your bone structure will be. This is the biggest thing that I noticed from the time period when I was living in a city, being exposed to all of these things, working in a job that I was touching receipt paper all day, to now living back at home in the rainforest and being under the sun. I just noticed that my face was getting whiter. I was getting more healthy, more vigorous, and my self-belief and my confidence also increased by just living a more natural lifestyle as well. Mewing, chewing, and posture. Mewing is quite self-explanatory. If you don't know what mewing is, it's basically keeping your tongue flat to the roof of your mouth all day. I've been mewing since I was around 20 years old. I'm 25 now, and <laughs> people say, oh, you can't improve your face past when, you're, when your growth plates have, have closed. Bro, look at this photo when I was 18, 19 years old to now. Like if you can't, if people say you can't change your face after puberty, they're lying to you. You can. Not only does it increase your maxillary width, which is your mid facial width, but it just creates that disconnect, which is a hugely attractive trait. 
Now you need to be chewing hard things like our ancestors did back in our hunter-gatherer days. No more of this soy skull prey-like genetics. The more you chew, the more you'll masseter this muscle in your jaw, the more this grows in width. And I recommend a mastic gum for this reason, which is basically just a Greek it's a sap that grows on trees. It's a Greek resin. It's really good for your gut. It's really good for your oral health. I recommend finding some sort of really high quality mastic gum. Chew this like 20 minutes every couple of days. And within a year, you will notice that you look like Giga Chad. Skin health. Now, getting a youthful glow in your skin and getting a nice tone is my next point. So I won't touch on this too much, but everyone says, get all these products, get everything. No, remember your gut is going to have the biggest effect on your skin health. Start within rather than slapping on all of these cleansers and all of these bullshit estrogenic products and estrogenic material onto your face and thinking that's going to make you more attractive. No, the way I improved my skin drastically is by improving my gut health. No more gluten. Stop eating grains. Stop eating artificial sugar, but at the same time, increase your carrot intake to three carrots per day. So I've been eating three carrots per day for months now, and I'm noticing that my skin is really, really loving it. There is a thing in carrots called carotenoids, which are basically, it's a compound that gives you more of that Mediterranean glow. The reason why Mediterraneans have such amazing skin is because their diet is extremely high in carotenoids. You can find carotenoids in tomato, carrot, sweet potato, anything that is red will make your skin better. And it's extremely high in antioxidants. A supplement you can take for this is astaxanthin. This is a really powerful supplement. It has a high carotenoid content in it if you really want to go further. In regards to a skin routine, keep it as simple as possible. What I do is I wake up, I wash my face morning and night, and I wash my face with a single ingredient cleanser, which is either goat's milk or red mud. Cleanse your face morning and night with some sort of organic product, and then moisturize with a rosehip oil or a beef tallow moisturizer. These are super highly bioavailable moisturizers that are single ingredient. Rosehip is a natural product. Beef tallow is just the fat from cows. And then after you moisturize, I like to use a thing called a gua sha which is basically like a tool that you can use to massage your face. And once you've moisturized, it's really easy. And it creates this definition around your cheekbones and around your neck that pulls out any inflammation, pulls out any puffiness. And I do this every single morning before I go out. Another thing I do is I grab a orange out of my freezer. I grab that, I put that on my skin and I roll it around like a massage ball. If you don't like to use an orange, then you can just use a teaspoon from your kitchen. This also reduces puffiness. This also just makes your face more taut, more tight. And yeah, it just makes you look a lot more youthful. Start doing semen retention because that also improves the nutrient density of your skin and the collagen product of your skin as well. The last point I want to make is stress. Now, stress will make you more soy than anything else. The higher your stress is, the more you will age, the more soft you will look, and just in general, the more unattractive you will be. If you're stressed, then you're signaling to your body to stop making testosterone. Your body goes, nope, we're not going to make any more testosterone. Your androgenic receptors are getting fried and you start producing estrogen. Now, there are some somatic exercises that I've been doing that have drastically improved my level of serenity and my level of calm in my day. A couple of those ways is through breath work. People think that breath work is like insanely hard and they think it's like such a daunting thing and you need to like go all out. It's really not. And what I would like you to do is just to drop in with me and just to do a short one right here. We're going to do a thing called box breathing. And this is something that I want you to implement in your day every single morning is just box breathing for three to five rounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, and then hold at the bottom. So breathing in, Hold and out and hold. Breathing in 
all and there. And bro, just doing that for a whole week, you're going to notice that your stress is so much lower and that has just calmed me down and I feel like that's a beautiful way to finish off this video. So if you did enjoy this video, brother, and you got a lot of value out of it, I'd appreciate if you go down, leave a comment of what you're going to be implementing or something that you learned. If you'd like my personal one-to-one -one help, then go down below, book a call with me. Let's chat. Let's connect. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one, bro. Take care of yourself.